Around a century ago, Helen Menken was one of the biggest names on Broadway. She broke out onto the scene during her late teenage years and found immense success in the industry before her career came crashing down as a result of a controversial play she starred in. This was called The Captive, and it revolved around a lesbian relationship. Join Factsverse as we explore how Helen Menken's struggle with sexuality cost her both her career and her husband Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart was married to four women in his life, and the first name that pops up in most people's minds is Lauren Bacall. Lauren was his fourth wife. One of the women he had previously been married to was Broadway legend Helen Menken, who was actually the much bigger star of the two when she courted Humphrey. Menken was born December 12, 1901 in New York City. Her parents were both deaf, which gave the young girl some disadvantages as well as some advantages. It made it rather hard for them to teach their daughter how to talk. However, Helen was able to learn how to talk just fine by studying the speech of the many other talkative people of New York City. The advantages her parents' deafness lent to Helen included the fact that she was always allowed to make as much noise as she wanted. Another advantage came from her experience with her deaf parents that made her an expert at nonverbal communication. Growing up in New York, young Helen set her sights on the stage pretty early on. At age five, she could be found eagerly tracking down auditions for various plays. This led to Helen being cast as a fairy in a touring production of William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. The escapade saw the young girl being forced to travel around the country, and she grew up pretty fast. Helen became a leading lady on Broadway at age 18. Her theater roles became more and more prominent until she was eventually one of the biggest stars on Broadway. Through her teen years, she continued performing in touring Shakespeare productions, and it wasn't until age 18 that she was given her first lead role on Broadway. This was in the 1919 play Three Wise Fools. Her role in the play brought her more acclaim than ever, and she became an instant Broadway sensation. At the time, she was dating a young man from New York City who had no show business aspirations. The actress broke things off with this man as they didn't have much in common. After Three Wise Fools ended, Menken was given another starring role in a Broadway play. This time it was called Drifting. Humphrey Bogart was cast in the play in a minor role, and he was also utilized as a stagehand. Humphrey was only 21 and was a ways off from becoming the star most people think of him as today. During Helen's first night performing her lead role in Drifting, a piece of the set fell onto her and caused a small kerfuffle that ended up embarrassing the actress quite a bit. Understandably, as soon as the curtains were drawn, Helen went to track down whoever was responsible. Little did she know, that was Humphrey Bogart. Before we tell you more about that, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Helen fell in love with Humphrey Bogart after an altercation. During her early days as a leading lady on Broadway, Helen Menken developed a reputation for being exceedingly aggressive with her co-workers. If you did something she didn't like, chances are you were going to get smacked. Given that Helen was a small woman, most people she deigned to hit didn't hit her back. But there was one man who had the gumption to meet Helen tit for tat, young Humphrey Bogart. When Helen tracked down the man she felt was responsible for the set falling on her during the first performance of Drifting, she let him have it. When she was done, she turned her back on the man and started to walk off before receiving a big surprise in the form of a kick to the back. 21-year-old Humphrey Bogart seemed to have no problem kicking a woman from behind, and this impressed Helen Menken a good deal. Helen had finally found someone who could meet her at her level, and romance quickly grew from the incident. The pair began dating, and their engagement was announced to the public a mere three months following the episode. At the time of their engagement, Helen was the only one of the two who was a notable star. As a result, the engagement announcement focused much more on Helen than of Humphrey. It wasn't until several years later that the two finally tied the knot. Following the announcement of the engagement, Helen became a bigger star than ever thanks to her turn in the play Seventh Heaven. Helen and Humphrey had a short-lived marriage. The two got married in 1926, but not long after the ceremony, Helen decided to take a role in a play called The Captive. It was a French play, and Helen was offered to perform in its English-language production. But it seems America wasn't ready for the play's content. It was a lesbian romance, and Helen Menken may have had some decidedly personal reasons for becoming involved in the play. Rumor has it Helen was bisexual, something Humphrey knew about the actress early on. 
Humphrey was one of the many parties who advised Helen against taking her role in the captive, and he may have had a few different reasons for doing so. For one thing, Humphrey was arguably concerned about the future of his wife's career. For another, he was likely insecure about his wife's closeted bisexuality. For a few months, the captive played with little backlash. But four months after the premiere, police came knocking on the theater door. The policemen came to raid the theater just before a performance of the play was set to go down. The cast and crew convinced authorities to let the show go on, and they did. But they stormed the stage during the second act when things started to get a little too steamy. Helen and her co-workers on the play were arrested and forced to appear in court. At the time, homosexuality was a crime, and the whole episode caused a great deal of damage to Helen Menken's popularity. The Captive Ended Up Destroying Helen's Career Though Helen Menken continued to keep the true nature of her sexuality under wraps throughout the ordeal, the incident involving the captive still caused much of the public to associate the actress with deviant homosexuality. Helen was well aware the play would cause some backlash, but it's doubtful she knew just how much her career would suffer. Still, it's arguable Helen would have stuck by her guns whether she knew it was going to completely destroy her career or not. Some also say the incident put the nail in the coffin on her and Humphrey's marriage. Humphrey was upset about Helen taking her part in The Captive, and it's been said he spent the majority of the play's lifespan in a drunken stupor. Helen later claimed every time she returned home to her husband from a performance of The Captive, he would drunkenly beat her. Though Humphrey's penchant for beating women is apparently what attracted Helen to him in the first place, she grew to like it less and less over the year of their marriage. They divorced in 1927. They both went on to remarry three times. Humphrey went on to become one of the biggest stars on the planet, while Helen led a much quieter life. But despite the drama revolving around the captive and her supposed bisexuality, she ended up being welcomed back to Broadway by the end of her life. In fact, she went on to become the president of the American Theater Wing, which puts on the Tony Awards. Now it's time to hear from you. Which part of this story was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So, if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the Join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members-only videos waiting for you, with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click Join, and we'll see you inside the Membership tab.